Philippine news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders held a non-camera press briefing on Thursday amid many newsworthy events that happened this week. Although there were several important subjects to discuss, a liberal reporter from NBC used her time to call President Donald Trump a sexist. Sanders quickly unleashed a firestorm of epic proportions in response. On Thursday, Sanders briefly spoke about President Trump's decision to move the U.S. Embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem and declare Jerusalem the capital of Israel, as well as the resignation of Democratic Senator Al Franken. However, even though Franken is the latest suspect to be hit with allegations of misconduct, reporters targeted Trump with questions regarding whether he is fit to lead the discussion surrounding sexual harassment in the workplace. Naturally, the Access Hollywood tape was hinted at by NBC's Holly Jackson as she questioned Sanders on how President Trump treats women in his administration. During today's White House press briefing, Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders was grilled by MSNBC's Holly Jackson and Kristen Welker on President Donald Trump's role in the national conversation on sexual harassment and whether he is credible to lead on that topic. Does President Trump believe he has a credible role in leading this conversation and can you speak to the specific steps this White House is taking to make sure the women who work here feel like they are in a comfortable environment to talk about these things? Asked Jackson. Of course, this line of questioning is absolutely ridiculous. Instead of focusing on men who have actually harassed women, the media is deflecting, just because the perpetrators happen to be Democrats, by attacking Trump over comments he made in private, to another man, more than a decade ago and never even acted on. Sanders, who was clearly tired of the media's charade, gave the best answer ever. Certainly as a woman myself I've never felt anything but treated the highest level of respect, she responded. I feel empowered to do my job and I think that what I've seen the president do, day in and day out since I've been here and during the campaign, so I think that's a pretty good start and a pretty good example on that. No one could be a better source than Sarah Sanders regarding how Trump treats women, being that she is one of the most high-profile females in his administration. Will the press be content to take her word for it regarding the fact that Trump has always acted professionally towards her? Probably not. They're too busy trying to draw attention away from the actual men responsible for harassing women, who happen to be Democrats. What better way to distract the public from these Democratic scandals than to continue ruthlessly accusing the Republican president of misconduct, even when he is guilty of no such thing? President Trump should be the last person the media is accusing of sexism, having placed numerous women in top positions within his administration. Indeed, Sarah Sanders is not the only woman he has entrusted with a high-profile job. Just look at Kellyanne Conway, the first female campaign manager to ever win a presidential election. Why isn't the media talking about that? I suppose because it doesn't promote their false narrative that the president views women as nothing more than tools for sexual gratification. What a charade. Obviously, the best person to answer Jackson's stupid question was Sarah Sanders, as she is by the president's side every single day. Please share her great response since we can't depend on these obviously biased reporters to share the truth. Share the story and leave a comment by clicking one of the buttons below. Follow us on Facebook at Mad World News.